welcome back to my channel if you're stopping by for the first time welcome to the family please consider subscribing and i do food motherhood and lifestyle videos so i have tons of those so you can catch up on those as well so today i'll be showing you how i made this delicious muffin so let's get started so for 10 to 12 muffins depending on how you fill your liners you will need two cups of flour two third cups of granulated sugar half a teaspoon of salt one tablespoon of baking powder and for the wet ingredients you need two third cups of milk i'm using a third milk and one cup of yogurt because yogurt adds richness and tenderness to your uh, muffins and even makes it more moist half a cup of butter one egg room temperature i'm using two because i'm doing a double recipe and one teaspoon of vanilla extract for my add-ins i'm using blueberry which are my favorites and chocolate chips so you will also need your muffin tin plus the liners and of course uh for this uh, for muffins you do not need a hand mixture so all you need is the whisk your spatula and a cookie scoop or you can also use a spoon if you can if you have uh, if you don't have a cookie scoop you can use a spoon still okay so we'll start off by putting the liners on the muffin tins and then before you do the before you mix your butter make sure that you preheat your oven at 425 fahrenheit and you're setting off at a high temperature because this is what will give you the nice dome and uh, on your muffins or just to give it that rise so you want it to rise uh, fast when you start so the first step is to mix all the dry ingredients so put all the dry ingredients in your mixing bowl once that is done whisk them Once you're done with the dry ingredients, add in all the wet ingredients. So remember, I'm doing a double recipe. That's why I have two eggs. And the reason why we have used the baking powder that will make your muffins rise the sugar will sweeten and retain the moisture the salt will round up all those flavors and the butter that i've added will give will make it richer and tender so every ingredient has a purpose so mix all the wet ingredients really well until the egg yolks have completely broken down don't forget that your milk, your butter, and your eggs should all be in room temperature. Once that is done, we'll add in the wet ingredients to the, to the dry ingredients. You do not need to use a whisk to mix it because we don't want it to be over mixed. So you just use your spatula gently to mix the wet and the dry ingredients. Remember, if you over mix your ingredients, it will give you a chewy, dense and dry muffins and we don't want that. So just mix it for about uh, maybe like 10 folds or 11 folds. So just gently, you don't have to use any force.
so just a quick one if you decided to use um, the add-ins maybe the chocolate chips or your blueberries you can add them at the stage of the dry ingredients so that the wet ingredients will be added to them so now your butter is ready fill it in your muffin liners so the reason why i did not mix my chocolate chips or the blueberries with my flour is because i wanted a plain butter because i wanted to do uh, the different types of muffins uh, at once so that's why i did not mix uh it from the start so if you're doing one type of adding you can just mix it with your flour and dry ingredients So at this stage, I will go ahead to add in my chocolate chips in one row. And I will add my blueberries on the second row. And using a toothpick gently push in the chocolate chips or even if you're using whatever add-ins just to make them mix well with your butter because remember we did not mix it with the flour before because I'm doing different kinds of uh, muffins some will be plain some will be with the uh, blueberries and some will be with the chocolate chips so just using a toothpick, mix it gently in. adding my blueberries and i'll fold it in of course with my toothpick like i did with the chocolate chips and my oven is still uh preheating at 425 which is high and as i said you need the high heat to help the muffins first rise and give it that beautiful dome that the muffin has and let it uh once you're done let your muffins bake for about five minutes using the 425 uh, fahrenheit once five five minutes are done reduce your oven to 350 fahrenheit and let it bake for about 25 minutes 
uh, check using your toothpick if uh, the middle is done and it comes out with a moist crumb so once that is done put your muffins in your oven Once your muffins are done, put them in a cooling rack. And I also wanted to show you how they came out. You can see they are very, very rich and tender and moist. I also give this to the yogurt that I used because yogurt adds a lot of richness and moisture to your muffins. And you can even see it has the crumbs and they came out very, very perfect. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say you can see they are not chewy and they don't look dense and they're not dry And this is what you want your muffins to look like So I really hope you did enjoy this recipe if you liked it Please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't and I will see you on my next one till next time. Bye. Bye